and broken trust. Wanna watch the game? Yeah. Switch to channel seven. No way. Rewind three seconds. Honey, you wanna go for a walk later? What's the weather gonna be? Right now in Seattle, it's 70 degrees and sunny. Let's go after this. Looking good is more important than looking where you're going. Find Mexican restaurants. Here are a few popular ones nearby. Oh good, they're open late. Play my favorites playlist. Your playlist, favorites. Come on, come on. Turn up the volume. Radio. Okay, buddy. Switch to Blu-ray. Oh, oh, oh! Do us! Do us! Do us! Ah! Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Cuting, and this is uh, Element's new 50-inch uh, television set with Amazon's Fire TV user interface built right in. It's got an M-Star uh, quad-core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, and the user interface is very similar to what you would get if you bought a Fire TV, and we're going to take a look at some of the things that you can do with it here. So, take it away. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. Great intro. Um, so, right at the top, you'll see the, the navigation bar. It leaves plenty of room below for more cinematic and visual experience. You scroll to the right to to visit your uh, entitled content through your Amazon Prime subscription or subscription to any other third-party content provider like HBO, Netflix, Hulu, and so on. Um, of course, you can purchase movies, TV shows, and apps as you regularly would from our store. Now, if you scroll down from the navigation bar, you get to the feature rotator, which um, auto plays a set of mini trailers, um, and it's and it and it uh, and it cycles through a broad selection of content that's refreshed regularly. It really gives customers an engaging and immersive way to discover new content. At any point, you can click right into whatever you see to get to the to get to the detail page. There we go, and you can start watching right from there. So, going back to the home screen, right below the featured rotator, you'll see new content rows. Now, these surface theatrical images, right in the tiles as well as in the in the background up at the top. And, um, and and also provide a kind of mini details in the top left, so it, prevent, it avoids you from having to kind of dive into a title and learn more about it. So that's kind of the UI, the way it's broken out. Um, then one of the main differences between this and what you would get with a regular Fire TV is it's a full fu fully functional TV with live TV programming and other things. Uh, I don't know if we have access to that here. Can you show me the TV yeah, interface? Absolutely, absolutely. So everything that a regular Fire TV would do, plus a lot of new smart TV features. So one of the things I'm super excited about is the uh, the live TV player. So if for customers who have an antenna connected to their TV, they can actually receive live over-the-air broadcast content directly on their Fire TV interface. I could, I could even ask Alexa to tune into that channel. So I could say, tune to NBC. and it's a little congested with the Wi-Fi. We are in a room with a lot of things going on. That's yeah. right. But um, once it loads, it's a lot faster. Than yeah, yeah, no, I understand. But, um, but yeah, you can start watching. While we're waiting for that, uh, actually, why don't you show me the remote control? Yeah, well, oh, here it is. What, what I'll show you is right now it should be playing yeah. content, but what you can do is you, can, you know, at any time you can pause your content, go to the bathroom, check, you know, get some snack, come back and play. You can click down here to look at all the other uh, programs that are playing. Um, that you're actually getting through your antenna. Of course, with any great TV experience, you would expect. Oh, let me go back to. Uh, let me go back. As with any uh, TV experience, you expect to have controls over your TV settings. So, when you click the home button, you get the heads-up display where you can access your picture, sound settings, set, set a sleep timer, and we've even developed a new programming guide. Uh, that aggregates all of that live content and brings it all in one place. Um, and you can kind of look at what's playing now or in the future. So basically, it's Fire OS plus regular TV features, all in one, the same user interface, same remote control, with Amazon and Alexa supported with the voice remote control. And then if you wanted to plug in your cable box or something else, I imagine you could do that as well. That's right. And that's actually another one of the neat features is input switching. And you can, um, you can input switch two ways. You can go to settings over here where you see all your inputs. 
Um, one cool thing about the, the input settings here is you can actually select custom names, not customize, but select from a pre, pre, preset set of names that customize your uh, ports. So for instance, in this case, it's Blu-ray, you can click right on it. And the easiest way, of course, is just ask Alexa. So I could say, switch to Bluetooth. Oh, sorry. Switch to Blu-ray. That probably makes more sense. And it'll switch right to your Blu-ray player. You can do the same for Xbox, Cable Box, or any other connected device you have. And uh, if I remember correctly from the press release, uh, this and other Amazon Fire TV and